Today I'll be sharing with you how to create paper cutouts inspired by Henri Matisse. All right, let's get started with our activity. Now that we know a little bit more about Henri Matisse and the type of art that he created, we're going to use the world around us as inspiration to create our own paper cutout collage. All that you need for this project is a piece of paper, a pair of scissors, and some type of colored paper. That could be construction paper, that could be recycled bags, okay, or other cardboard. And it also does help if you have glue, although it's not necessary, you don't have to glue your pieces onto the paper. There's three things that I want you to pay particular attention to while you create your collages. I want you to pay attention to color, space, and shape. When we talk about color, I mean, are you representing things as their natural color, like a leaf? Or are you changing the color? This cloud would be white in the real world, but here I made it red. So you can play with color in your collage. You can also play with shape. So am I representing things exactly how I see them? Or am I changing the shape a bit? This is a traditional leaf. This is a little bit more abstracted. The last thing I want you to pay attention to is how you're using space. So are you putting things close together, far apart? Are you overlapping? These can create different effects in your artwork. So play around with that as well. Awesome. Now you know the basic ways that you can create paper cutouts using recycled materials and colored paper. Now we want to see the artworks that you can create inspired by the shapes that surround you. You can share your artwork with us two ways. You can share on social media and tag us and also use the hashtag Dunlop Challenge. You can also email us your artworks at dunlop at reginalibrary.ca. For other great resources, be sure to check out the Regina Public Library website along with the Dunlop Learning website. Until next time, friends, take care! For more information, go to reginalibrary.ca.